Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to react to how Goku, uh, <laughs> I say Goku, how Goku became the Weave Nation president. Without further ado, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Now, Super's the time where Goku became the undisputed Weave Nation president. Like, once he got that UI, he was really untouchable. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really wasn't in tune with Super until that oh, tournament shit. of power. That's when I really locked in. I'm talking about camping the website. The second that shit dropped, I was there. Shit had me feeling like a deadbeat father who shows up in his son's life after he gets drafted. But yeah, I really like the tournament of power, especially that second half, because that's where shit got crazy. Now, Goku is someone that will never take shit serious. They done told him the universe will get wiped off the map if they lose his shit, and guess what he's doing? He's giving the ops free training. Wasting his energy too, all because his ass loves to fight. Niggas think I'm fighting to save the day. But really, nigga, I just like to fight. And this wasn't some weak ass training lessons either. He got shorty up to Super Saiyan 2. And you know Krillin's bald ass has an issue with Goku doing this shit. And he probably wants to say something about it too. But he can't because Goku did him a huge favor. He made Krillin look good fighting him in front of 18. When we know good and well he had the ability to violate and one shot him. Look at the moves he's getting off. This shit would not fly if he's trying. Goku has to be one of the greatest wingmen of all time. Fact. He extended bro's marriage by 10 years with this one. Max contract. But yeah, these two are tough. Like look at this. Kalifo pulled out a whole pump fake with the key blast. Oh, got his ass. And Kale wasn't doing shit until she became Rolisha. That's when she really started putting in pain. Look at her. She giving Goku that Loki treatment. This man is getting straight CTE. And you know since Brolisha's a variation of Broly, she got all the methods. Dragging his head against the floor, the Lariant. She's even walking through Goku's attack easily. And Goku was in blue too? Nah, she a demon. Look at how she just tosses bro aside. Treated his ass like Woody. Jiren had to stop with a legendary finish for shit to stop because she was attacking everyone, even her own teammate. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? This man Jaren really thought he was him after this shit, bro. Like he gonna that. get to you later. But yeah, later on they went on to jump Goku, and they were looking clean. Like this is some elite levels of coordinated jumping. Now not on the levels of 17 and 18 because we know how they was running shit back in the future. Cooked the Z fighters and had a 500 and 0 record against all. Of them. But these two? They had some clean plays, like look at this. Kale goes up to Goku, hits him with the fuck wrong with you. Jumps up and goes behind him to kick him into the attack. Now I'ma keep it a buck though. That shit did absolutely nothing. But don't worry though, they did way more than that. Like they was really out here using real tactics. They got Shorty over here throwing key blasts at the ground to make a smoke screen. And I don't know what happened over here because this man Goku closes his eyes talking about, ooh, I knew you were about to do that and still gets his ass cut. And he gotta be one of the first people I've seen take an L in these situations. Like y'all know that cliche where the character gets blinded or fights with their eyes closed and they're still just cooking up for whatever reason. I thought that shit would happen here. Thought it had an 100% success rate until now. But nah, we got Goku over here getting caught and is catching these hands. But what really pushed him over the edge is when he hit the instant transmission and Shorty predicted it. And he's like, nah, fuck that. Nobody does that shit. Dyes his hair red like Cardi and started saucing up. This man becomes jump resistant. Look at this. He kicks Khalifa away, calls ISO on Kale, and Khalifa went out sad because she tried sneaking him not once, but twice. And got cooked both times. But you know what they say. Third time's the charm. She trips him like this shit is Tom and Jerry, and Kale hits her with a blast. And Khalifa started celebrating, talking about some, hey, we got him. No. Because Goku's sitting in the beam talking about some, and that shit had her speechless. He comes out the beam and kicks the hope out of her. And at this point, they really had nothing else to try. They went from making all these elite complex plays to saying, all right, bro, we shooting a key blast at him from both sides. I know Champ is watching the drop in effort like, there is no passion, there is no vision, there is no aggression, there is no fucking mindset in this football club. Goku <laughs> deletes both of their weak ass blasts simultaneously and sends a key blast to each of them in return. And here we see two types of people. One who stayed and blocked the key blast head on and Kalifa who tried to dip out of there. But Goku's key blast was something different though. That shit came equipped with that chase down hall of fame and it followed her to Boomer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. They really didn't stand a chance. And the crazy part is Goku's doing this shit with low stamina. His shit blinking red right now and he's still getting the job done. So Kale's holding her in her arms and Goku's just like, aw, that shit cute. Y'all could do that shit in the stands. 
sends the beam right at him but it was too late because in that short amount of time they already put on the earrings and became careful and now we gotta talk about this because she really moved her ass to a new platform to have her back turn to goku and bro how the fuck does she have sunlight on her with no sun i know you see the sky and scenery they got that future timeline feel that all hope is lost that we not seeing tomorrow type feel because his ass is not saving us but yeah beerus is clearly mad because this shit is technically cheating but i'm not gonna lie they basically bitched him and told him to shut up because the xenos are entertained and once they're entertained they let shit like this slide just like nba refs so now that it's confirmed that they can fight like this it's time to get to it Goku versus Kefla. Man, that red hair must have went out of style because this man started catching all types of L's. It starts off with Goku getting hit in the spine and then he proceeds to get hit with the clean right hook. After that, Kefla gut checks him and I know in Goku's head, he's just like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> Kefla tries to one shot him, but Goku blocks that shit. It was way too slow. But these next moves coming up will show you why Kefla is a fiend. So she got bro guarding high from that last attack, leaving the rest of his body wide open. So you would think she would attack the body because that shit's an easy layup why not the only answer is her teacher must be thanos because she was aiming for nothing but the head look at her going all the way up to hit him where he's guarding just so he could get knee in the jaw at the end he gets sent flying back and kepler's just rubbing her hands and like there's no way out of this you're done comes up to him grabs both his legs and starts spinning him around I could hardly watch. Look at how they got my guy looking. Who that is not is Goku. This? He gets tossed into a rock pillar and is just laying there, rethinking his decisions. And yeah, bro, he had one option, and it was to go blue. The way bro came out the smoke, you would think he starts saucing up. But that fight lasted like one minute. Homie only landed one attack and got one shot oh. straight after. Because after Kefla gets sent flying, she came back throwing key blast. But don't worry though, because he ain't go out from that. He shoots a beam at it to destroy it, which is good. If that shit wasn't a distraction. She sneaks up behind him and kicks him straight in the neck, sending him flying and getting dribbled off the ground. Falling <laughs> face first and having the blue knocked out of him. That boy Beerus was up there ready to cry after seeing this shit. He thought his best fighter was taken out and Vegeta was not saving him. We know it's all good though because there's still one form we haven't seen in this fight yet. Goku starts by standing back up, talking about this shit not over. Kefla just like, man, stop chatting. This shit over with. Throws the attack and here it is. Goku became Wave Nation certified. Matter of fact, he shot up the ranks instantly. He became the whole president of this shit. And homie came out the transformation talking straight shit. Telling her he gonna drop her off. And Frieza in the back is just being racist as hell. Talking about be your best ape. Like bruh, that's just Frieza at this point. It don't matter. Bro can't survive in the group chat after what Trunks did to him anyways. We not worried about him. Kefla <laughs> tries hitting him with this fake ass Timo Rasengan. And Goku just slides out the way like... <laughs> Had Shorty lost, got her leaning at the edge of the ledge like she a Smash Bros character. The embarrassment wasn't over though. Like I know you see this. Goku got his back turned and y'all know what happens if she tries attacking that. It they won't work. work. Kefla had to learn though. She tried attacking him and Goku dodges <laughs> the kick clean as hell. Like look at him, that stance makes him look like he could be in the Ginyu force. Kefla funny though, she tried to backflip that miss off like we ain't see that happen. That shit was unnecessary though because she just gets embarrassed again. <laughs> Goku is dodging so many attacks I can't even put sound effects in this hoe. Look at him, he dodged 500 attacks in the span of 30 seconds. He hits the Ali shuffle, gets a couple more dodges in, and she knew she had to change up the method. So she started using Key Blast. But once I saw Goku hitting that Bruce Lee pose, I knew it was raps. She throws Key Blast at him, and look at this. <laughs> Still not touching him. And he ends this shit off with a flip too. Yeah, this shit is just too easy for him. He jumps off, and Kefla's just chasing him down. Goku plants his foot into the rock to lean back and dodge the attack. That shit had Beerus on the sidelines like Andre Drummond. He was <laughs> Goku is just hanging upside down and Kefla's looking at bro, knowing she's cooked. Goku launches her ass through two rock pillars and just looks at his hands like, damn, I'm really like that. But here we go with the cap. Kefla comes out the rubble laughing, talking about, damn, that shit weak as hell. So Goku is like, oh, where? Goes right up to her, makes her eat 50 gut punches and kicks her down. 
now i'm just watching like yeah that's tough for you kefla because he really spun the block to make sure it hurt but it wasn't over though because he goes down to her asking if that shit was still weak that shit gets her mad and she goes in for an attack which is something you can't do against ui goku he weaves it and punts her across making her go to mad rocks but goku is kind of petty because he said that shit is not enough distance huh <laughs> starts air bending and pushes her even further back and here comes the cleanest move goku has ever pulled out his bag kefla started throwing out attacks like she a final boss with 18 bars of health but goku was in this bitch move goku is jumping from platform to platform he's doing the perfect run Kefla makes him jump up with nowhere left to land, and she swore she was about to win, talking about Oh, got his ass! She launches the attack, and Goku gets to surf. Like, look at this, bro. I ain't never seen a move like this. That shit was just elegant. Get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? All right, that was wild. Well. <laughs> he goes right up to her, and Kefla gets hit with the boot. That shit was embarrassing. The cameraman had to get all three angles. And I know getting hit with this gotta be the worst feeling ever. Gotta be the equivalent to getting dunked on for a game winner in the playoffs. That shit is sticking with you forever. But yeah, man, that's the end of the video. Thank you for 274k. We moving. Alrighty, that's just gonna about do it for this one. I'll see y'all in the next video. Till then, peace out.